everybody, it's Amanda from the St. Louis Science Center, Science Off Center team, and this week I've got a challenge for you. I have three cups here. I have a football cup, a coffee cup, and a Godzilla cup. And I am going to put some water into the coffee cup, and now I'm going to shuffle the cups around. And I want you to keep an eye on which cup I put the water in, because I'm moving so fast. I'm sure you're probably confused. That's why I use different cups to kind of help you. So which cup is it in? Everybody's probably seeing the coffee cup because I didn't even use like cups, but it's gone. And it's not in any of the cups now. So magic? No, it's science. I put something in the cup ahead of time that you might actually have just laying around your house, but it's probably in something you don't want to look in a diaper. So I'm going to show you the science behind something called sodium polyacrylate or easier way to remember it, water lock. Okay for this experiment we're going to need a couple diapers, scissors, I'm going to use a ruler. You need something straight to kind of help gather what we're going to get out of these diapers and we'll also need a glass and some water for later. The first thing you have to do is get that water lock out of the diaper because it's no fun to put the diaper in the cup, right? So I'm just going to use a pair of scissors and kind of start cutting at the diaper. Not very well. There we go. We want to get some of that material moved away and then there's this cotton stuff inside. We kind of want to rip that open a little bit and then we're going to start shaking the diaper out. And you might see you can see there's a fine white powder. Okay, that's probably pretty good. All right, once we've shaken our powder out, you see we have a little carnage. A little bit of that diaper cotton has gotten in there too. So I'm just going to kind of pick up some of those chunks of cotton because I don't want those in my glass. And then this is where my ruler comes in handy. I kind of got it all over the table, didn't I? So I'm going to use my ruler to kind of get it all into a pile. And when you do that, you'll notice you got a lot more cotton there than you think you do. So we'll pick out and shake out some of those cotton fibers. Once you've picked out most of your cotton fibers and just have the powder left, I'm going to use my ruler to get it in my glass so that now I have a nice amount of white powder in there. So let's add the water and see what happens when we have a clear glass. So once we have our sodium polyacrylate or water lock in the cup, we can just add some water in there. Now sodium polyacrylate, you've probably figured out since it's in diapers, it's pretty safe, it's non-toxic, and it's actually used in a lot of products around your house. Obviously diapers, there's a lot of gardening products and animal products that use sodium polyacrylate to help keep the moisture and water in the soil or help water your crickets if you have pet crickets like we do here at the Science Center. Of course it's also used to make fake snow and we can certainly see why. So now that we've given it just a few minutes, we can see that that water lock has really started to absorb that water and now it's getting just about solid. So there's this week's experiment, but you didn't know you had this kind of chemistry around your house. So grab some diapers, grab your little brother or sister because every scientist needs an assistant and prepare to do a magical trick to amaze all your friends with science. Have a great time. We'll see you at the St. Louis Science Center.